to Blender Cinematic. During a drift, the smoke source is going to be the tire, but the tire uh, has a dense mesh. So let's create a proxy mesh to use as a source. So for that, let's change the origin of wheel to its own geometry. And then let's add in a cylinder with uh, 32 faces. And then let's scale it down and then snap it to the wheels origin. We can do that by pressing shift S and then selection to active. And let's get into edit mode and delete the faces on either side of the cylinder so that we're left with the faces in the periphery. And then let's scale it down so that the proxy mesh is just a bit larger than the wheel and that it's slightly below the ground plane as well because we're going to use it later during uh, the dynamic paint. Cool. Now let's parent the proxy mesh to the wheel because we want it to move with the wheel. There we go. Now let's move to the physics tab. And then while the proxy mesh is selected, let's click on fluid. And then let's change the type to flow. And then the flow type is going to be smoke. And then flow behavior is going to be inflow because we want the flow to be continuous. And then sampling substeps as five. And then flow source as mesh. And then uh, check the planar box because the mesh is planar. And then surface emission, let's uh, put it at 0.5 because we want the smoke to be produced close to the mesh surface. And then initial velocity, let's give it uh, initial source velocity of 50% of the wheel because we want the smoke to be behind the wheel. So let's give it half the velocity. So those are the settings. And once we have the settings, we're just going to duplicate it and then move it onto the other wheel. So we have two proxy meshes generating the smoke. And let's do the same thing, parent it. There we go. So now we want the flow behavior, the inflow to be keyframe as we want the simulation to start at frame 250 and end at 750. At frame 250, let's check the use flow and then insert a keyframe. And then at frame 249, let's deselect the use flow and then insert a keyframe. And then at frame 750, let's deselect the use flow and then insert a keyframe. So effectively what we're doing is all the frames before 250, the smoke is not generated. And between 250 to 750 frames, the smoke source is on. And then beyond frame 750, again, the smoke source is off. So that way we have the drift smoke only during the part of the drift, which is between 250 and 750 frames. And then let's uh, repeat the same process for the other proxy mesh as well. Thank you for watching and please visit my channel Blender Cinematic for more Blender animation trailers and tutorials. Thank you and see you next time.